Omicron creating a desperate need for more COVID testing options here in Georgia. Glad you're with us. I'm Rick Fulba and I'm Sean Gables. Right now, home kit suppliers and testing sites are struggling to keep up with the demand. And here you can see why the Omicron variant spreading to every corner of the state, putting all of Metro Atlanta in the red zone. Brand new data out tonight shows this surge is not slowing down. More than 17,000 new cases just reported in the last 24 hours. And testing among our best tools to stop the spread. It's why counties are going the extra mile to meet demand for COVID-19 tests. In Clayton County today, police and fire recruits assemble at-home test kits. They'll be given away to residents on Thursday. And a similar effort is underway in Cobb County. That's where Sierra Cummings is live for us tonight. In Sierra, the county making plans for massive distribution events. Yeah, they are a bit of an optimistic outlook here. There are still challenges when it comes to testing access, but some places like Cobb County, they're not seeing nearly as much as a backup as a few weeks ago. And that's in part because they're opening mega sites like this one and ramping up efforts to get kits right to your front door. As of this morning, though, we were still in Cobb County uh, north of 2600 cases per 100,000, which is tremendously high. The folks with uh, public health would like to have that number down to uh, 100. Soaring case totals coming from Cobb. Just one example of how the State Department of Public Health System became overwhelmed and delayed in reporting totals for the past five days. Rapid kits remain in limited supply in Georgia, while there's no shortage of criticism at the Capitol. Federal leaders face pressure in a Tuesday COVID congressional hearing. It is a very wily virus. It has fooled everybody all the time from the time it first came in to Delta to now Omicron, very unpredictable, and we're doing the best we possibly can. And we are in the process of procuring the 500 million tests, which every American household will be able to order. But local governments won't be waiting. Cobb commissioners approve an emergency purchase of 60,000 at-home kits. The goal, distribute by Monday. Maybe they can't leave, they're homebound. They can't get out to a site. Um, they're having trouble arranging an in-home test. Uh, and, and everything and that that's who we'd like to get these test kits to and they're not alone. Similar plans Thursday in Clayton to hand out free rapid tests at these three locations. The metro areas following DeKalb's successful initiative efforts to fill in gaps officials believe should not exist at this point in the pandemic. And again, best case scenario, the Cobb COVID kits won't be available until about Monday. They've already ordered them. They're just waiting until they arrive in this county. Meanwhile, this this site, Jim Miller Park, it's reopened a mega location and they've extended their hours daily to six o'clock every single day you can come but keep in mind they're only doing pcr tests here meaning it could take up to 24 hours for you to get your results live in marietta i'm sierra cummings cbs 46 news sierra thank you